in today's video we're going to be looking at this thing. This is a reworked, rebuilt rat gun. And if you don't know what my rat gun looked like, I'm going to throw a couple pictures in here so you can see. As you can see, it had a broken off end of the barrel, or a broken off barrel, end of the barrel, and a broken off stock, and a quick change spring gearbox so I could pull, uh, put different springs in it, things like that. Uh, but it needed a battery space, so I made what I call a BAB, big ass battery box, which is now on the front of this. The original uh, lower had the buffer tube broke off, so what I did is I cut it off flush and made the hole bigger so I could get at the quick change spring that was in the back of the gearbox. That was nice. But the front end, this is broke on this side right here and when you would put it in there the front end would wobble and it, and, and it would torque to one side and it just wasn't working out with this one. Uh, plus this was an original K uh, KWA lower I think and I had to grind out this part on the top so the mag would go in better. And the hop-up always had problems trying to get it in there. I could only put in certain hop-ups and it had a problem. And if you notice, this was the original barrel length that I had. And uh, here's the original tight bore barrel that I put in here with this that would have went in like maybe this way. Put it in this way so you guys could see. It'll go in there and it used to stick out about that much a little bit maybe about a half an inch and I used to have a push on flash hider that I would do on this one and tighten it down with a with a Allen screw um, but I decided that I want to put it together and the only thing that I bought that I used was a new hop up now I have a picture of the laid out parts that I, I was using Now, there was a quick change spring shell there and a motor I found, but the motor that's in here was better than the motor I found. So I left the, the motor I had found, uh, the quick change gearbox I had bought for another project the guy didn't want, so like I got a free gearbox out of it. So this still has the original quick change spring gearbox in it, uh, but it has the polymer and upper lower from a, a Colt and there's only a few gotchas on this. Uh, one was the stock. This has a regular buffer tube on the back, but the back of the gearbox was a little tweaked up. So when I put the bolt in, it wasn't quite grabbing good enough. I had to take the lock washer off that was on the top here and put it down through a little farther and it grabs good now. This is uh, a nice stock. Um, I'm going to stand this up so you guys can see this. It folds to the side and it pulls out but the claim to fame on this is you push the button here and this folds up and then you could fold this to the side and it stay and you have a nice compact uh, weapon to use so it was something that you know if you wanted to uh, mess around with it you could for a CQB but I'm normally going to run this with the stock all the way extended like this. But I'm going to leave it in there, right there, for this video. Now, when I got the uh, parts, the only thing, like I said, I bought was the rotary style hop up. And the problem, which I'll put this here, is when. See, that's another problem, too. You. couldn't put that sliding piece here inside. It was grabbing on the rotary hop-up. It, it wouldn't come off that. So I left that rotary piece out of there, or that flat piece off of there, and it does expose the hop-up, but this does close and locks really well, and you really have to bang on the uh, lever to pull it out of there to get it out. I put the original red dot uh, hollow sight back on here, and the big thing that I worked on was this rail. Now, somebody will look at that and they'll say, well, that's kind of ugly looking. And they're right. 
Uh, I had to do some work on the end of the setup to, to, uh, on this front guard or hand guard to get it to fit inside this delta ring. This delta ring is messed up. This is the one the guy gave me. I actually did find one that I had in a box, but I figured I already got this made. I'm going to leave it on there. So I got this to fit on here. And this is my big ass battery box. I made this to house this huge 11.1, like 5,000 or 2,000 mAh battery that I have. And I also, it was a battery that I had with the EC3 ends on it. So I've been using, I wired this to EC3 uh, and it works flawlessly. Uh, the big thing with this though is it's extremely heavy now. For me, I think it's heavy. I might get a shorter handguard, and this handguard here is actually what they call, well, that's actually a six inch, so seven would be a little bit farther out. Uh, so I was looking at maybe getting like a, a different free float handguard on here, and they have aluminum ones and stuff like that. And if, if I wanted to cover this right to the end, I'd need a 12 inch handguard. But they made 12, 10 and a half, 9, 7. And I was looking at a 7 and cut this off. So then it would be a short barrel rifle again. But then I'd have to get a different uh, barrel and the whole 9 yards. Unless I could use this. But I don't think that's even close to 7. No, that's like, that's like 6 and a half. 6 and a half and the barrel would be sticking out a little bit. I probably could still use this. Yeah, I probably could still use this with it. Uh, I just have to figure out how, what I want to do with it. Right now, this shoots pretty low because it has the CQB spring in it. And I'm going to show a picture of the FPS with .30s and rate of fire. As you can see, it's like 300 FPS. Now, with the tight bore ba shorter barrel, this was really popping up there because I think pushing out this longer barrel with that particular cylinder and everything I have in there, it might be undervolumed, and that's why I'm losing some FPS. But it's still shooting like a champ. So, BBs, I'm using threes, and they're going out straight as a string out there 150 feet without even putting that much hop up on so I might run this for a while, just the way it is, uh, unless I feel ambitious and start ripping it apart again and try to cut the barrel off to make like a short barrel rifle. If I had some money to spend, I might get the short uh, aluminum front end and barrel or try to use this particular one here and uh, see how that would work. It probably would be pretty cool to try and put a, a, a shorter barrel on here, have like the flash hider come out right here. That would be awesome. Press, you wouldn't have all that barrel. I think it would shoot a lot better and it wouldn't be all that weight. There's not that much weight there, but if I didn't have to have this front sight and all the rest of this barrel, I think that would look pretty good. And my hollow sight, when I look down the hollow sight, it's like right on this post. Uh, so I'm like, eh. I could cut the post off, but for now, I'm just going to leave it the way it is uh, until I get ambition or I get some money, and I might put the shorter barrel on it. So this is just an upgrade on the rat gun uh, that I had. Um, I like this stock. I have two other stocks that I could put on it, and I have the actual LE stock that I can put on this as well if I really want to get it even lighter than it is. But it shoots pretty good, feeds decent. Um, other than that, works like a champ. So I hope you enjoyed the little tweak about my rat gun here. Um, this has been sitting in a box for parts almost a year. So I finally got some gumption and put it back together. So it's working and I might try it at like an open play or something like that just to see how it works as always i hope you guys enjoyed the video and have a good day
Wow.